Hello, this video I will show you how to completely remove a file from commit history. This pertains to Git and GitHub. So many times you might have a file that you want to remove and not only do you want to remove the file history of it particularly from your local Git but you also don't want it to appear on GitHub. And so there's uh, articles out there about it but I'm going to try to show you a way to do it without um, making a whole new clone of your repository. So, so we're going to basically remove a file in place and then still be able to push push things up uh, to GitHub. You could push it to your main branch or whatever branch you're working on. So I've started here. I've initiated a test here, a directory here with file one and file two. Currently there's no content on them, but I'll quickly add some content. So file one dot txt. This is what we're going to um, we're going to delete, right? This content and file path, right? So this file we're gonna eventually down the road delete this, and then file two. Let's say we want to keep this good file, right? Okay, so I've already set up a Git repository that we're going to be pushing all this stuff to. And the first thing we need to do is git init down here. And then first thing we're going to do is we're going to git add. And git commit. Okay, so what we did is we added two files to git. Um, now this is a mistake because we don't, let's say file one is an accident. What it's get, let's say we didn't really mean to add file one, okay? Ideally, we would have a git ignore when we start and we would add file one to it, right? So then we would never run the risk of accidentally committing something. So for now, we'll just have a blank git ignore file. Um, but yeah, that's just a reminder. If there's ever files you want to ignore, you should get in the habit of having a git ignore file. Let's just make another commit. And what we'll do is we'll copy and paste this stuff in. Okay. Let's just check this. We pushed this up to GitHub. Okay, so we have three files here. We can look at our commit history. We have two commits. And if we click on first commit here, we'll see that we had file one and file two. And let's say we didn't want file one.txt. Let's say we wanted to get rid of this. Um, and we want to get rid of file one and we want to keep the rest of this stuff that we have. And we want to do it without like just cloning this all over again and and doing other stuff. Okay, so first let's do this. I'm going to show let me show what you might think would work. Okay, so just now I just removed git tracking on file 1, right? So if I run git status, it says file one is deleted, right? And um, I might show another command here. No, I'm not going to show the next command. Let me just let me just hit git add and just git commit this.
and get push. Let's let's just push this quick little change we made and refresh this. We have three commits. And our latest commit just says that file one was deleted. But if we go back to our old commit, we'll see that file one is still here. Right, so, so let me introduce another command. We'll, okay, so this is an important command here. This command here will show um, all occurrences of a file path in your commit history, right? So we want to show all file1.txt and you'll see that this file path file1.txt shows up in these two commits here. First, these two, right? And we want to eventually run this command git log dash follow and not see not see file one anywhere in our commit history, right? We want to delete it from our commit commit history and we want it gone from our commit history up on GitHub as well. So this is a more forcing command to try to remove a file from our entire commit history. And I'm gonna show you what happens when we run this and then we push this up to GitHub. So it says a lot of our refs were rewritten, right? And let's add file1.txt to our git ignore. Because like in a production, in our in a project situation, this is what we would do, right? We would have a situation where we have a file that got accidentally pushed to GitHub, and then we'll be like, oh, oops, we need to add the file to git ignore. And so let me push this up to GitHub and I'll show you what is going on now. Right, it's going to say rejected, right? So let's say we're going to add our force flag to it. So we're going to try to force and overwrite what we got up on GitHub. Okay, so it'll, it allowed it to go through. Now let me show you what is going on up here. Let's go through our commit history. Let's go to our first commit again. You see file1.txt is gone now. Yep, yeah, that looks good. And you see now that our file1.txt is now gone from GitHub. Yeah. Yeah, remember git log dash dash follow. See, when we follow this file path here, it came back blank. So this file one.txt is not in our um, history at all, our commit history at all. Now there's some other things you might have to do like, um, yeah, so this command here, this is another similar command. So after you run the first git filter branch, you might have to run this also. All right, just exactly like this. You don't have to change the args out at all. And this helps remove uh, the references on the your GitHub uh, commit history. And then you could also run this on top of it afterwards. A similar looking argument. Okay, this, remember we ran git remove dash dash cached? Okay, so if you hadn't run git rm dash dash cached like I did, you can later run it again with this in, like, in a more like thorough, forceful way. And I'm gonna link to an important um, website. Which I have it here from this, this is it right here. So these are basically where I got the commands from, right? You run this one, and then you can run this one, or you can run git remove dash dash cache first, and then run this. And then I have this extra 
one. Right? I have this command also that you might want to deal with. And um, and then finally, this repo here, this repo tool is called git filter repo. And if you really don't want to deal with the command line as much and running these commands by hand, you can um, brew install git dash filter dash repo. And my, uh, my internet's running really slow right now. But that's what it is. Um, I'm going to type that in here for now. Brew install git filter repo. Okay, git filter repo is a tool that does exactly what I had done. It's right here, git filter repo. And it's got a big readme about it. But you don't necessarily have to um, git clone this. You can just do brew install. And if I go back up to the cheat sheet where I was at, it's right here, yeah. So you can run all these, or alternatively, this one right here. Git filter re repo invert paths file name, the name of your file, the file path. And that is actually just does all of this. So git filter repo provides this command that just does all of this. And it's also it's very powerful. So yeah, you can do it either way. You can you can get you can brew install git filter repo and then just simply run this command. Or you can just do it by hand and run these kinds of commands like I did. Like do it like exactly like how I did it. And then you're going to have to git push dash dash force to put it on top of um, your GitHub commit history. So yeah, I hope that was helpful and that could help clear up how to um, remove you know, sensitive files you don't want up on GitHub. So if you like this channel, like, subscribe, and happy coding.